Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Power World. And I'm going to show you in this video how to make a automatic cake farm. And I know that sounds weird to say, but it's actually really important for the end game or even just anything when it comes to breeding in general, because cake is incredibly difficult to make. And there are a few basic things you have to do, but you can get so much. I'm making like hundreds, if not thousands per day. And it's pretty simple. You just need to know which creatures to use how to make it, and kind of, I'm going to walk you through the whole guide of everything that you would need in order to accomplish this feat. Now, if you don't mind, go ahead and smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel, and that would be much appreciated. Now, let's go ahead and get started with this thing, right? So basically, just so you can see, there's a whole bunch of different recipes inside of Power World, and cake is something that you feed to your creatures by putting it inside of the breeding area. They will eat it, and then they will lay an egg for you, which is very useful, right? So in order to make it, you need flour, red berries, milk, egg, and honey. And the cool thing is you don't need to go actually leave your base for any of this. This can all be automatically gathered. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what you need to do. The flour is the one that's kind of like the most difficult because you actually have to set up a farm for it. So I'll walk you through that. But the other four are incredibly easy because you just have to have the right tames for it. Those tames being uh, for red berries, milk, egg, and honey. So. Let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you which pals you need to drop into your base. So the Mozarina is the creature or in this base that's going to give you access to milk. It doesn't matter if it's male or female. They will both lay milk for you as long as you place them inside of a ranch. You can see that I've placed them inside that ranch. They'll kind of graze around and they'll go ahead and drop milk for you. Now, if you kind of every now and then just spawn back into this area and then leave, it seems to be that they'll leave a ridiculous amount in that ranch for you. And you can see that the partner skill is milk maker. Two of them is more than enough to make a farm for this. And you'll have enough milk where you're never going to need to worry about it again. Now, the next thing on your list outside of these two is chickens because you need eggs. So having two chickens will also provide you with enough eggs to not only make a ridiculous amount of cake, but also to automatically feed your pals because the one of the pals that we're going to go later is going to automatically put these eggs inside of your feed box that you use for your pals anyways. So now we've got the milk. We've got the eggs covered. The next thing on our list is berry tames. And in order to get a berry tame, you have to go to, there we go, this guy right here, Capriti, if you want to call it that. You can see its partner skill is berry picker. So go ahead and toss two of those inside of your area. And those Capricis, or Capricis, whatever you want to call them, will go in there and they will drop berries for you because you can see they've got that bush on the backside of them. And they will drop a very significant chunk of berries, also feeding your tames in the process, but giving you an automatic farm. Basically, that's the third step, right? Now, the last thing that you're going to need access to is honey. Now, honey can be gathered not by getting the Eliza bees, but actually going after the, let's go to the very end here, because the workers are the ones you want to go for. Bee guards, right? So bee guards are actually the ones that you go after. You can see they're called worker bees. These worker bees will actually drop what you need them or what you need from them. And that is a large amount of honey. Usually two is more than enough to do the trick, but you can kind of do whatever you want for that. So that gives you access to all four of the main ingredients for cake, red berries, milk, egg, and honey. And two of each of those will give you enough so you can make, I don't know, one, 200 cakes a day, right? Now the next part, you can totally install this next thing inside of the current base, but I'm gonna show you mine at my other base because you can honestly put all of this in one location and just make a ridiculous amount of cake in the same spot. But you also need to make a wheat farm. Now in order to make a wheat farm, the best way to go about it is to just put one or two down. You can see this guy is getting watered right now. This is a wheat farm, which you can access pretty early in the game. And in order to operate a weak farm, you need three different things. You need a watering crew. You need a crew that is going to seed and then one that is going to pick everything. Usually one waterer and then find another creature that will actually do both of the other tasks. And you can have enough of this. So you're making you can see that right there, right? You have, I don't know, thousands of wheat per day being created for you. And with that wheat, what's going to happen is if you place it in your other base, the wheat is going to automatically be picked up. You can see this guy picking up things automatically and they'll place it inside of your feed box. Now you take it from the feed box and just place it inside of wherever you can. Obviously, you can see me have flower access right now and inside of a crusher. Now, that crusher is going to give you a ridiculous amount and that water tame is automatically going to use the flower in order or the wheat in order to make flour. And then you use the flour 
in combination with everything else that we just talked about, all of that stuff is going to be used in order to make cake. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and go over here, pick up that salad, and you can see that we have so much of those resources. I just made a ridiculous amount of cake, but that is all you need to make a cake farm inside of your base. Now you can do all of this in one base location so you don't ever have to leave it. And what I've set up is, I guess I'm currently working on finalizing it, but what you can do is go to your base and have all of this stuff be in the same location as your breeding area as well. So you can have your cake being made with this feeding bin so they're automatically, oh my goodness, mamma rests are fighting outside my base. Totally unnecessary mamma rests. Can we not do this? You're gonna destroy my entire base. I need to leave and de-render things. Um, so you can build all of that stuff in one location, which is obviously incredibly useful when it comes to actually getting one of these farms up and running because you can literally do everything that you need inside of one base location and have another base for your actual grinding and another base for your actual production line. So that is one of the best things that you can do and hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, again, smack that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and can consider subbing to the channel. Now, the last thing that I'll say that adds on to this farm thing is if you're playing in solo player, it's a lot harder because your creatures aren't passively producing things and putting things inside of that feed box over time. I really recommend either playing on official servers or renting your own server. If you look in the link below, I've got a link for G portal and I think it's like $4 a month plus 10% discount you get for just clicking on that link for me. Um, and you will literally get 10% off those servers just because right. Um, and it works so much better because when you're offline, their teams are actually creation and creating and producing things for you as well. So hopefully this video helps you out. And again, other than that, teach.